Hey everybody, how we doing today? So, quick interruption before we get going on the regular video. Uh, the art, the uh, canvas prints selling like crazy. Uh, sold out on a bunch of them, but luckily Ray just lives down the street. So this morning, headed over there, picked up all those ones that I sold out. Plus he had three new ones finished, so I picked those up as well. I'm gonna show those to you. Got an offshore version. Got the Mahi Permit uh, Yellowtails. This one was a modification one where he deleted and added a bunch of stuff. So he uh, added the uh, island uh, background with the uh, sports fisher, changed a bunch of the clouds. Um, and one of the cool things that it's nice to have is I told him, well, I'm all about the bait. You got to start adding more bait in there. So as you can see here, he added all these uh, bait fish in there and that's with the billfish. And this is my favorite. This is the uh, flat sunset version. Another modification, he wasn't happy with the original. Um, it was just a silhouette only, just a black silhouette. So he went through and added more detail to make it more three dimensional. So one of my new favorites there. But uh, remember, great Christmas gifts. Buy them on the tourist shops, they're 40, 45 bucks. On his website, they're 35. I'm gonna sell them regular price 30. But for Christmas time, they're down to 25. Excellent Christmas gift. So pick them up. So on with the video. Got the blue crab all about the bait. Then we've got, bam, QS kayak fishing. How you liking that? Hello everyone. I recently created a sticker for Key West Kayak Fishing, which is available at allaboutthebait.com by the way, and I would like to give a little insight into the process of creating that sticker. My first version used this base artwork and an illustration of a kayak fisherman, but in this case, a Steve who runs the YouTube channel that is Key West Kayak Fishing is the real centerpiece of the brand, and he has a fairly unique setup for a kayak, so it made more sense to make the kayak fisherman Steve rather than just any kayak fisherman. I started with this photo of Steve wearing stylish and functional gear you can get at allaboutthebait.com and turned it into an illustration using Adobe Illustrator. At very high speed here you can see me finding the various shapes and outlining them and converting the photo into a much simplified version of Steve. And I'm going to take this illustration and put it over the top of the generic fisherman and turn it into an uh, illustration that looks much more like Steve, which is where we're going with this. Moving on to the kayak, I got some video footage from Steve. I uh, described about the angle I was looking for and he shot some video of his boat that I could take screen captures of to use for a source for my illustration. There's a little trial and error involved. Even with screen captures, I was fairly confident where the right angle. I did a very rough clip and pasted them into Illustrator along with the rest of the sticker artwork uh, to give me an idea that the angle was correct. Once I found the correct angle, uh, the process of illustrating the kayak is very similar to the process I used to illustrate Steve. Uh, you can see I'm working over the top of a photo here, or a screen wrap, I guess, from a video, and I'm isolating just certain parts. Uh, there's a lot of detail that I'm overlooking, but in this case, the uh, kayak will be a silhouette. Because it will be a silhouette, I don't want too many objects sticking out above the top of the kayak. It would break up the outline and just make it a little harder to tell what you were looking at. So you can see a little trial and error here of adding in rods and details and I'm just getting out the correct balance between enough detail that you can tell what you're looking at and not too much detail uh, in order uh, so that it's a simple silhouette and visually reads fairly quickly. At this point, about all that's left is to add a shark circling under Steve's kayak. Those of you who watch the channel know there's always a shark or three circling under Steve's kayak. You can pick up one of these stickers at allaboutthebait.com along with a lot of other stickers and shirts and hats and merchandise that I've designed. Thank you for watching. I am Jeff Kappingst or jeffthedesigner.com. All right, we're all loaded up. We're going to be doing some fly tossing today. Uh, this is my standard uh, fly fishing setup and I brought the ladder out uh, for the platform casting. So let's head on out. Hey, secret spot. Where are they at? Oh, there it is. I'm at the secret spot. 
there's one of our target species right there coming to check me out give me the eyeball but we're not ready yet I don't have anything on the wire I can mess with them though okay before we get started with the fishing I've got some new products I want to show you guys a couple of months ago I put out a video requesting you guys to tell me what's your favorite saltwater live baits uh, beyond the 10 that I've already got featured with the uh, all about the bait store and got a whole big list so I kind of went through and I picked out nine plus I got a bonus uh, a sticker as well so the stickers boom are right here just like the uh, previous 10 that I kind of featured the uh, South Florida Florida Keys baits these are just kind of wherever based on your guys's request they're uh, five inch round stickers they're a new teal color so different than the original 10 uh, they sell for five dollars for one you can get three of them for ten dollars or you can get ten for twenty dollars down to two dollars each and you can mix and match and that includes the prior 10 and this 10 so let's kind of go over what we got so the first one here is the Threadfin Herring. We have them sometimes down here in the Keys, but it's more up Florida more often. A little larger bait, just kind of like the Pilchards. So definitely a, a favorite uh, for the Florida side as well. Then we've got the Anchovy. This is for the West Coast, not West Coast Florida, California side. So we use these quite a bit. Um, live bait, Southern California. Uh, frozen tray packs for the Central and Northern. Uh, sturgeon baits, well, live bait, they're, they're fish candy. They're like the pilchards in the Keys. Uh, but we've got the anchovies. You buy these by the scoopful down there. Then we've got the Atlantic croaker. That was a, we do have some occasion a little bit down here, but not a lot. But apparently that's a big uh, bait for you guys up there along the Texas, the Gulf side. The mud minnow. Okay, that was a surprise to me. That was a, a well quite a few people were asking for this and probably the most requested one of them and that's a common uh, bait shop uh, live bait buy and the mud minnow and there's a bunch of different varieties so this is the the most picturesque one we found so we kind of did a uh, one off of there then this one is another one was just kind of a surprise the uh, the sand flea now this is actually East Coast and West Coast. I used to use these as a kid uh, on the beaches in California and Pismo and Morro Bay for a surf fishing. Uh, when the tide uh, waves hit the water, all the little bubbles coming up from the holes, get your shovel, scoop out a big clump, lay it, flatten it out on the, the beach, and then just pick out the little sand crab. So that one brings back memories. Uh, then we got the Mohara. We've got those quite a few down here, and I guess ours are like our super size, but we don't use them a lot for bait. They're hard to catch because they're super fast, but a soft, very tasty bait, so very effective there. Ladyfish, okay, that's a lot of the Gulf and Florida side. I mean, you get tons of these. Good for the uh, toothy critters. Great for cut bait, all the way around a good bait there, plus a good fun fighting fish. I catch a few every year during winter time. Uh, they should be coming around, but we don't get a lot of them. And uh, the fiddler crab, we've got these, but apparently they're used quite a bit all over the place. That's one of my favorite new designs, kind of giving the fiddler finger. <laughs> and then this is probably one of the tops, and that's the Menhaden Pogi uh, bunker that everybody uses for uh, bait up along the East Coast. And in the Florida Keys, we actually use it, but we used up the ground version for the uh, chum. And the 10th one is you saw on the uh, car in the beginning, that's the new QS kayak fishing. Had a lot of requests for people wanting something QS kayak fishing. The All About the Bait is a separate entity, but still related to the channel. But I'm starting off with stuff that just focuses on the QS kayak fishing. Kayak fishing. So there you go, that's my new featured bait. So I'm gonna start uh, using your guys' input, what's selling, as why well go forward for like the shirts, for like the mullet, uh, future designs, and so forth. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. So anyways, let's get to some fishing. All right, so this is my fly I'm gonna be using for the uh, kudas and sharky sharks. So just a big long fly there, and then I've got some uh, wire trace going on. 
and that's what we're gonna be throwing. The other thing we're doing is uh, trying to check out to see if the juvenile tarpon have uh, taken off or not uh, after these uh, last couple of uh, cold flushes. The water temps definitely have chilled off quite a bit, uh, but hopefully they're still around. I haven't seen any yet. You can see by the uh, depth of the uh, sprouts there that the water is pretty high right now. So if they're around, we would see them. So I'm gonna hit a couple of spots. I don't have a ton of time. And uh, if I can see some kudas, I'll throw at them or sharks and uh, dilly bop and look for uh, the juvenile tarpon and then what other things we could bend a rod with. So that is the plan. I don't know if you can see them, but those are mohara. Those right there. From the top, they look like they have like a brown stripes, but they're actually extremely silver along the side and they're uh, super soft, not much bone. So I bet you that's why fish like them so much. All right, there's three kudas. Where did they go? Oh, right there. Oh, this is gonna be tough. See if I can get them to whack it. Oh, spooked them. I didn't like that at all. Man, they're more spooky than the uh, tarpon are. That's right in front of them. Wow, they wanted nothing to do with that. Oh, there's mold around here. That's why they're hanging out. Come on, son, come back out. Those were three good ones. All right, here we go. There's that old saying, when the fishing gets tough, get the eight weight out. <laughs> ah, little snappers. Not a bad little dude. Ugh. And the weeds. Sweet. All right, so that's what we're catching today. Hey, watch my fingers. Just pull, pull, and bam. Snappers. Itty bitty snappers. Ugh. Flying snappers. All right, I ran over a bunch of snappers here. Oh, got them already. Whoa! Hey, what is this one? Get over here. This is not a little dinker one. Hey. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Bam! On the fly, baby. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh, you got stuck good. You got greedy. All right, we're gonna measure you. And we got, hey, you're legal. Yeah, 11 inches. Bam! On the fly. Fish this little, oh, there we go. Ooh, stay out of there. Hey, <laughs> I'm a snapper king today. Bam! Nice. Let's see if we can find some with a little bit of size to them. Oh. I 
don't know what structure's down there. Oh, stay out of there. You got stuck. Ah, oh, he swallowed it. What the heck? Man, hungry little dudes. All right, one more fish, small or big. It's starting to rain, it's getting darker. Fast retrieve. Oh, oh, hit and run. Oh man, thought you're gonna be different. All right, the last fish of the night. And there we go, done. Let's get out of here. I'm getting rained on. It's dark. Motor's dead. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm taking my time and trying to fix the old uh, outboard motor there. Uh, left me stranded again. Uh, I should have known since I didn't fix it after the prior time. And I was just kind of thinking, oh, maybe it'll fix itself. It didn't. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, bear with me through all these uh, product release videos. Uh, I started late because I didn't want to do anything for Thanksgiving and Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, but So I started December 1st. That gives me 20 days uh, for shipping stuff out for Christmas. And I've got so much new stuff that I'm pumping in. Uh, I want to get in before the end of the year because next year I'm going to be doing changes to the site and so forth. So anyways, bear with me. Thanks for watching. Bye.